Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In the background here you're gonna see some experimental footage. I noticed that my camera had a slow motion setting, albeit one that only records in 480p, um, but I just wanted to see what it looks like and see how it looks when it gets up on YouTube. The blue color that I'm using is the Payne's Gray from Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus Fine Art Liquid Watercolor. But the, uh, the point of today's video is to talk about some of the changes going down on planet Earth lately and what you can do to help out and remain informed. I'm sure if you've been on any sort of social media, you have seen that the hashtag Black Lives Matter movement has been gaining a lot of traction lately. As someone who benefits from white privilege, it's my responsibility to use this platform for good. It may not be the biggest platform. This video may not get a lot of views. I'm not an expert on the political state of the USA. I'm Canadian, and honestly, I'm not even an expert on Canada. I read books by historians, but I am not one myself. Nobody knows everything. Nobody will ever know everything. If you are beating yourself up for not knowing enough, it's going to feel like that forever. We will never stop learning how to sympathize, empathize, and enact change. Racism is real, and it is killing people. Police brutality is a corruption of justice and power. Fascism is alive and well. Black lives do matter, though. Positive change is already coming out of the protests in the U.S. and around the world, but it doesn't stop there, nor is the problem only present in America. Change is never pleasant. Human history has never been pleasant. We have to keep an eye on our communities, take care of our fellow human beings, and make sure that police brutality is recognized and condemned wherever it exists, because it does exist. And even though Canada may seem less chaotic, remember that we have one-tenth the population that the USA does, therefore one-tenth the bad things happening, you would presume. Never forget the gross injustices done to Indigenous people and people of color in this country. Never forget that this country was founded on colonialism. Never forget the residential schools, the internment camps, and the missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. So donate where you can. Sign petitions. Check yourself. Always check yourself. I've been depressed and outraged because of the news lately and the videos from witnesses, you know, seeing murder and violence happen in the streets. I've cried, but I've also put my money where my mouth was, even though I can't offer that much. If you're in Canada like me, do your research, find local initiatives to see, or find local initiatives to signal boost or to donate to. Our dollar is weak compared to the American dollar, and it's been that way for several years. Donate locally where your money matters most, even if you're saying to yourself that racism is not apparent in your area. It probably is if you look a little harder, as, uh, as heartbreaking as that is. Humanity is always at various crossroads. Always. We're animals, like every other animal on the planet, but we're weird. We're complex animals. We can be instinctive, reflexive, nurturing, intelligent, cruel, really stupid, and all sorts of contradictions like that. However, now more than ever, we have the brain power, the consciousness, and the technology to transcend that and become something better. How we treat each other reflects on how we treat the earth. If we can't get along, what good does combating climate change do? And the reverse, if we can't, combat climate change, what good is it to fix our relationships with each other? Everything is interconnected. Stay open, stay listening, and wash your damn hands, please. I've included some links in the description below to Black Lives Matter initiatives and lists of petitions and places to donate to. A lot of these are America-centric, so if you live outside of there and want to donate locally, you're going to have to look that up yourself, but it shouldn't be hard. It's happening everywhere. Everyone is waking up, and hopefully they stay awake. Thanks for watching. Here's a bunny video. <laughs> Hi. 
Hello everyone. This is the baby rabbit that lives in my backyard. It is a baby mountain cottontail. He's real cute. First time we saw him, he was about the size of a mouse. He's getting nice and fat now. I have employed him to take care of the dandelions in my yard. And as you can see, He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, that's a big one. 